Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Welcome to the channel. So today in this video we are going to cover some questions which is very important for your GPAT exam. So here we have a first question. The volume of glycerol required to prepare 15 ml of the following air drop formulation under trial condition and sodium carbonate bicarbonate is 500 mg glycerol 3 ml and water to 10 ml. So the uh, options are option A is 4 ml, option B is 16 ml, option C is 4.5 ml, option D is 2 ml. So the volume of glycerol required to 15 ml of air drop formulation under trial condition, we have to uh, tell about the glycerol volume. So the correct answer is 4.5 ml volume of glycerol required to 15 ml year, uh, 15 ml of ear drop let's discuss with the help of explanation that this is a simple case uh, this is a case of simple multiplication if 3 ml glycerol is required to uh, required for 10 ml ear drops then 4.5 ml is required for 15 ml so the volume of glycerol is required to, uh, for making 15 ml is 4.5 ml. So the correct answer is C that is 4.5 ml. Next question is highly branched 3D structure that provides a high degree of surface functionality and versatility are P candomers, Q dendrimers, R arborols, C S actels. And the options are option A is P and Q, option B is Q and R, option C is R and S, option D is Q and S. So which is the correct answer? So the correct answer is Q and R that is dendrimers and arborols are highly branched 3D structures that provides a high degree of surface functionality and versatility. Let's discuss about with the help of a structure that this is the dendrimer this is the dendrimer structure tree like structure and this is the single dendro so dendrimers are also called as arborules so this is all about this question moving on the uh, so and the correct answer is b so moving on the next question Select the anxiolytic benzodiazepine that has additional mild antidepressant property. And the options are option A is chlorodiazepoxide, option B is oxazepam, option C is alprazolam, option D is lorazepam. So anxiolytic benzodiazepine that has additional mild antidepressant property is chlorodiazepoxide. That is option A. Let's discuss with the help of explanation that it's having a trade name is Librium. It is a sedative and hypnotic medication of the benzodiazepine class. And it is used to treat anxiety, insomnia, withdrawal symptoms from alcohol and drug abuse. And have additional antidepressant property. So, and chlorodiazepoxide has a medium to long half life but its active metabolite is a very uh, has a very long half life so the drug has amensic anticonvulsant anxiolytic hypnotic sedative and skeletal muscle relaxant property you should see the uh, beauty of uh, this drug chlorodiazepoxide having so much properties so the correct answer is chlorodiazepoxide so next question is assertion A is addition of colloidal silica to formulation helps to avoid picking or sticking problems during tablet compression. Reason is colloidal silica act as polishing agent and makes the punch face smooth so that material does not cling to punches. Options are option A is A and R 
are correct and r is the reason for a b is a and r are correct but r is not the reason for a option c is a is correct but r is wrong option d is a is wrong but r is correct so which is the correct answer the correct answer is a that is a and r are correct but r is the reason for a next question is identify the correct statements echo gel process is used to fill powder in soft gelatin capsule q is moisture content of the capsule cells can be determined by toluene distillation wurzer's process is used for filling pellets into hard gelatin capsule cells and s is fumaric acid is used to reduce aldehyde tanning of gelatin so we have to find out the correct statements options are option a is p q r option b is p q and s option c is q and r option d is p and q so which are the correct statements correct answer is option p q and s means echo gel process is used to fill powders in soft gelatin capsules moisture content of this capsule cells can be determined by toluene distillation and fumaric acid is used to reduce aldehyde tanning of gelatin so these are the correct one so the which is the incorrect one that wurzer's process is used for pilling pellets into hard gelatin capsule cells it is the incorrect one students let's discuss with the help of explanation that wurzer's process is a micro encapsulation technique involving spray coating pattern so option b is the right answer that is p q and s next question is two mercaptobenzothiazole is used in rubber composition as options are option a is vulcanizing agent option b is accelerator option c is activator option d is filler so two mercaptobenzothiazole is used in rubber composition as accelerator let's discuss with the help of explanation that what is the rubber composition here we have a composition that sulfur act as a vulcanizing agent where two mercapto benzthiazole as accelerator and zinc oxide as an activator and activated charcoal or carbon black is used as filler so correct answer is two mercapto benzothiazole is used as accelerator option b is the right answer that is accelerator next question is scum test is used to detect and the options are option a is bilirubin option b is sodium option c is albumin option d is cholesterol so scum test is used to detect the albumin so what is actually scum test let's discuss with the help of this explanation that scum test or shum is a blood test that uses spectroscopy to determine significant levels of methalbumin in the blood and a positive result could indicate the intravascular hemolysis and the scum test was named for auto scum so the correct answer is albumin option c is the right answer let's discuss new question the benzylic acid rearrangement reaction of a cyclic diketone leads to options are option a is ring expansion option b is ring contraction option c is ring fusion option d is isomers so the benzylic acid rearrangement reaction of a cyclic diketone leads to ring cot ring contraction let's discuss with the help of explanation in this schematic diagram that the benzylic acid rearrangement reaction of a cyclic diketone leads to ring contraction as we show that it is a six membered ring and here the ring contraction takes place hence the option b is the right answer let's discuss new question a patient of peptic ulcer was prescribed rentadine and sucralfate in the morning hours why is this combination is incorrect 
and the options are option A is rentidine combines with sucralfate and prevents its action. Option B is combination of these two drugs produces serious side effect like a granulocytosis. Option C is rentidine increasing the gastric pH so sucralfate is not able to act. And the option D is sucralfate inhibits the absorption of rentidine. So, which, uh, a patient of peptic ulcer was prescribed rentidine and a sucralfate in the morning hours and uh, why this is a uh, combination is incorrect? Because rentidine increases the gastric pH so sucralfate is not able to act. Here we have an explanation that sucralfate is an ulcerative protective agent. Student, this is the question which is asked in the uh, 2019 exam. So just uh, mark and learn that sucralfate is a ulcer protective agent. It forms a coating over the ulcer base after polymerization and sucralfate polymerizes only at acidic pH and rentidine is an H2 blocker that reduces the gastric acid secretion. If both of these drugs are combined an action of sugar fate will be abolished due to rise in pH of birentidine. So the option C is the right answer. Let's discuss the last one question of this video that all of the following statements about immunosuppressants are true except. So we have to find out the incorrect one. Option A is Sirolimus acts by inhibiting the action of I, uh, 1L2. Option B is Tacrolimus inhibits calcineurin pathway. Option C is Mycophenolate acts by inhibiting GMP dehydrogenase. Option D is Cyclosporin is an integral component of transplant rejection regime. So which is the incorrect one? Or which is not true? That the correct answer is mycophenolate acts by inhibiting GMP dehydrogenase. Let's discuss with the help of explanation. Here mycophenolate motive, um, mofetil acts by blocking IMP dehydrogenase. And cyclosporin and tacrolimus are calcineurin inhibitors that acts by decreasing the transcription of IL2 gene. Cyclosporin is commonly used to prevent rejection in transplant recipients and where Cyrolimus acts by inhibiting mTOR that is a tyrosine tyrosine kinase that is a target for IL-2. So option C is the right answer. So this is all about this video. Thanks for watching.